This video shows the workflow for modeling a restoration with the new K80 angled screw channel titanium bases. If you open the implant library, you will find the new K80 bases with the different available heights. Select the desired titanium base, then proceed with matching the digital scan body to the scan of the physical one. At this point, all digital implant components, including the K80 base, appear on the model. The software allows you to view the geometry on which the crown will be based. In this case, the height of the base is set at 4 mm but can be increased by clicking on the plus button. As you can see, each height corresponds to a mark on the real titanium base, which will be cut manually with a cutting disc before cementation. In addition, you can also view all possible angles of the screw channels, which vary from 0 to 30 degrees. It may happen that the screw channels are oriented in the wrong direction. In such cases, to change their orientation, go one step further, exit the wizard and click on the background, or directly on the implant parts if there is more than one implant. At this point, a window opens with several options. Select the function to change the implant connection. Once the function is activated, you can see which type of library has been selected, the scan body type and the corresponding implant component. In case a different height is required, in this menu you can change the type of titanium base. If you want to undo your changes and go back, press the highlighted button. In the preview window of the titanium base you can rotate the object and view all its sides. An interesting function is the possibility to rotate the implant components using these arrows. The base cannot be rotated freely. For this reason, the software indicates for each component the degrees of rotation available depending on the type of implant connection. In this case you can rotate the titanium base with a minimum movement of 60 degrees. While rotating the components, the degree of rotation appears in green. To determine the final position of the titanium base, click on Apply. In this case, the screw channels are correctly oriented towards the pallet and you can then start designing the crown. When you reach the end of the wizard, the crown does not have the screw hole yet. This is the only view will be displayed, which you do not need to worry about, as it will not make any changes to your restoration. To create the screw channel, the pre-visualization of the screw channel angles will be used. To do this, click on the free modeling button and open the attachment library. Inside the window you will find different attachments. If you select Zircones and ASC you will see all the attachments for angled screw channels, each with a different diameter. To choose the correct attachment, check which diameter is marked on the screw channel scan, then select the corresponding attachment. After that, confirm the selection and place the attachment, making sure to activate the cutting mode. Since it is important to match the attachment precisely, select the matching function and proceed with the placement. To view more clearly the screw channels, right-click on them and select View Properties, then choose Flat Shading Only. Now you can proceed with the matching, by selecting the screw channel with the most suitable angle for your restoration. At this point, make sure you activate this option, which allows you to make any changes and ignore all protections, such as minimum thickness. Select Apply twice, first to make the cut and then to save all the changes made. As you can see, Thanks to these new functions it is possible to create screw channels without any aesthetic or functional problems caused by a vestibular orientation. Watch the upcoming videos on the new version of Zircones and Medellier to discover all the features of the software.